Show me you are proud of me Don't make me feel less of myself Treat me right like I deserve it Like someone who treats it both yourself right Respect is such a broker Women are so beautiful They are the sort of the world Oh, but you are better than one This life is like a me Do you hear Yes We need to let them know that we are classy babes That's right that we are gorgeously gorgeous babes. That's ha. my girl. We are already made now. Yes. Happy? Can't you see? Yeah. See, when we get to that party, mm -hmm. ha, it's with fun. <laughs> that is how we do it when you want all its time. Of course. You walk majestically. Uh -huh. Walk majestically uh -huh. to the high table. Uh -huh. Like yes. this. When money speaks. Uh -huh. Everything like must bow. That's I'm right. I'm so excited to be associated with you, Auntie Mura. You are what the devil is going on here? Oh, see that? I told you about Ego's 68th birthday. Oh, you mean you told me about 68th birthday in your dreams, right? This month, I told you. And you didn't complain. You did not ask me not to go. Okay, this is what's going to happen. You see this, your friends dressed like masquerades all the time? They will go and represent you. Right now, I want fresh pepper soup. And you're going to make it for me. Mm, okay, this one, you know what? I'll do it when I come back, okay? Please allow me to go to this party. Nothing more. You know what it is. When you disobey me, okay? But I can't afford to this disappoint my friends now. Desmond! Desmond! Oh my god. Oh. Guys, please. I'm sorry for the embarrassment. Eh? Okay. Mm. It's okay. Um, you hold on to this for the celebrant. Let me go and sort things out with him, okay? I'll be back. I just pray your love me go. I'm a girl, I'm a girl. Treat me like a girl.
Stella. Ha. What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be at the party. I was at the party. Until I saw something that disgusted me. And I said, you know what? I need to see Pat almost immediately. Hey, <laughs> what has the party got to do with Pat? <laughs> oh, Pat, you asked too many questions. Eh? Ah, you know I shall be the good seller that I introduced to you. Of course I do. Atinoke, her best friend, is sleeping with her husband. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> Stella. Oh. Hey, you know Pat's blog does not like to dish out fake news. This news has to be authentic. Pat, Pat, eh? why don't you listen and see the drama unfold? Okay. As I was at the patio, I just noticed some strange body movement between the two of them. Hmm. As I was like, hmm. hey, these people, what is wrong? Huh? What's going on between the two of them? And then they just caught each other eye. And I caught it too. Mm -hmm. hmm. As they stood up to go to their corner, I followed. Trust me now. So what now happened? What I saw. Hmm, the two of them kissing. As in deep kissing. Holding and romancing themselves. They were so engrossed with each other that they, they didn't even notice that anybody was watching them. So what happened? What now happened? Trust me. As I, I brought out my phone. Took pictures. You took a picture? And even video self. Oh, oh. Can I see it? Can I see it? Okay. You know, I know you don't like story without evidence. Okay. So I have to show. I have to show you that I have evidence. Really? Huh? This you. is authentic. Ha! Yeah. Ah. Ah, this is authentic. My friend, take this. Uh -uh. That is why I love you. Anything oh for you, my, my goodness, <laughs> this is what I like. Uh huh. Ah. Hmm? They are in trouble. They are in trouble. This is not Pat's blog. I said, hey. trust me. Hey. <laughs> you know, you are supposed to be a journalist, mm. or better still, an investigator. Mm, you know hey. what? Let me leave that one to you. I'll be giving you a bonus. Don't worry. Hey. But being a journalist. Out of the question for me. This is what I like. Ah. You know what? Thank you so much. Ah, you're know. welcome. It's not I will always ah, ah. I will dish you just yeah. Hey. Oh. They are in trouble. I trust you. Yes. In trouble. Oh. You said hey. true. In love, love my life. Where are you? Hello, Patricia's blog. How may I help you? Hello. This is Tinuke. Can I speak with Pat? Speaking. I do not know why you like to interfere in other people's business. I need for you to take down that picture as soon as possible. <laughs> Bravo. You actually got got, you know. But let me tell you, this is Patricia. Patricia cannot be bullied, nor bright. Get that into your text call, okay? I am the special police, and um, in Maryland, I monitor the ills of the society, and I expose it to everyone, okay? Really? I guess you do not know what stuff I am made up of. Nobody messes with me. If you do not want me to deal with you in a way, you will never forget. I need for you to take down that picture ASAP. Tinuke, or what do you call yourself? I like you. You got got really. And I love the way you play your drama. But hi, Patricia, cannot be toyed with. See, you'll get new pictures tomorrow. Watch out for that. Okay? Did you get what I said? Really? What? 
She got the phone. She got the phone. What? Oh my God. I leave for no one. I care about what no, no, I do. No, 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 no. So what can I do? I feel no threat from anyone. I care about what okay, I do. Just... I live for no one. And why are you staring? Who is calling you and why have you refused to pick up your phone? Are you jealous? <laughs> Maybe it's another suitor? Or... Mm. Actually. It's... Hmm. Mm. What? Paul. Wow. Yes. Hmm. I don't joke with my property. I know that. Which is you. So, be careful. You know I love you. There's no other suitor apart from you. Better. about yourself. Good. I love to write. That's what I love to do. I write so that people can read, so I can impact lives in order to, you know, bring about a change. That's what really gives me pleasure. You seem so nice. People say, say that you're nice. Are you really this way? Oh, well, yes. I am a nice person depending on the business that connects us. To some people, I am bad. You know, people that do, I mean, something wrong will see me as bad because um, I tend to bring it to the world so that I can expose them. And to such people, you know, I'll be termed bad. But I am a professional. I read journalism and media production, you know, and I used to work with one of the biggest TV stations in Africa. But, you know, relocating to America is so difficult because of the discriminatory factors. You know, you can't tend to get a job. But I didn't give up. That's why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, journalism is my thing. What some people call blogging, right? Mm -hmm. So I want people to read about my article so that there will be a better society. You know, tell the people what the right thing to do. In short, you can call me a special police. If given the opportunity to work in a United States media organization, would you accept the opportunity? Definitely. That's my dream. I love that. It's been an amazing time with you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I am honored. So, this is the restaurant you speak highly of. Yes. Why not take a chill pill, wait for the food, test it, and I want to tell you that a trial will convince you. I am looking. But wait. Why spend money on diner when you can cook so well? Stella, you are so particular about money. There is no money that is too much to spend on your stomach. Life is too short, you know. Mm. It's okay. As long as you're paying. You and money. Stella, <laughs> you are so particular about money. Ah. So, my sister. Hey, bro. <laughs> uh -uh. Mm. Ah, ah. Ah, so you came into town, you didn't come.
home. No, honestly, I had to cut short my trip, and then by the time I came back, I was so busy, and I kept thinking I would call Stella, call Stella. Uh, but you. Oh, bro. Meet my friend. Pat. It's okay, it's okay. I am busy. Hi, I'm Pat. Nice to meet you. Oh, no, I mean, yes, pleased to meet you too. Yeah. <laughs> I actually came into other food, but um, I guess I can join you ladies, yeah, sure. right? Why not? Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Come on. Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. So, have you ladies ordered anything? Well, my friend is trying to give me a treat and, you know, I'd nice. like to suggest something. Oh, no need to whisper. You can talk about me in my presence. He's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> it's good. It's good. 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 So, um, so this is good. Okay. This is good. <laughs> I hope, I hope you guys are enjoying your meal. Yes. I'm fine. Hope you're good. No, I won't be able to make it. Thank you for the offer. Bye. We're all about town now, right? Mm -mm. What do you mean by that? You should have simply asked me what the call was about and I would have told you. Anyway, there's nothing to worry about. You just asked me out on a date and I said no. And you know why? Because you haven't put a ring on this finger. But nothing to worry about. I love you. And there's no space in this heart of mine for another man. But don't worry about that. You know I love you. There will be no other person. It's not vacant. Don't be worried. Pop. I love you too, but all oh, these calls, as in, I just... No buts. No buts. It was just a call. You say it as if we're talking about several calls. Please. I love you. Okay? Don't worry about that. I'm scared. Don't be. Don't be scared. I love you more. I love you too. Show me you are a part of me. Don't make me feel less of so myself. I cooked it Treat especially me for you. Right like I deserve it. Do you like it? Like someone who treated God. What's that? How come you have become so uncivilized that you have to decline a business date? All Desmond was trying to do is to have a date with you and discuss business. And you rejected it. Hmm. Oh, I see. You mean that was supposed to be a business date? Uh-huh. It didn't sound business-like at all. And moreover, I don't want to date your so-called brother. But come to think of it, you guys don't look alike at all. And you can never compare death with falling asleep. What do you mean? Mm. He's actually my stepbrother. He's my, my mother's first child. When the father died, my mom got married to my father. So you can see, he's my brother from another father. But it's still blood. So watch what you see, my friend. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll try to fix a date with him. Are we good now? Ah, no, that's better. Mm. You better do. Okay. <laughs> it's just business. What's wrong with you now? Your chakara is too much because you're a fine girl. What's mm -hmm. that? What's that? <laughs>
My darling husband. Please, I want you to believe it's going to work out this time around. And what do you think is going to be done differently this time? Um, actually, it's the same IPF. But this time around, I intend using the professionals in the field. All I want from you is just play your part, play it well, and believe. That's it. I can't imagine that. You still want me to be a part of this. I mean, I don't get it. Can't you find somebody else? Look, how many IVFs have we done? I will tell you. Four. That should tell you that there is no portion anywhere where you should be a mother. See, you cannot eat your cake and have it. It's either you're wealthy or you're a mother. You can't be both. Do you understand that? No, no, no. What are you trying to say? What, what are you insinuating? No, what are you trying to tell me? Uh, this one, have you forgotten my name is Uraula? No, no, no. I'm gold itself. I, I didn't plan to be rich. I didn't choose to be rich. It's God that gave me riches. <laughs> and I'm very sure he's going to perfect his good work by making me a mother. God, right? Yes. The same God that wasn't there from the very beginning. Now you want to bring him in? Nice. Very nice. Look, now let me tell you this. I'm tired of all this your drama. I do not want to be part of it. I have somewhere very important to go to. And you know what? It will be a grave scene if I am late. Mother. This one, I am not barren. I am a mother and I'm still going to be a mother. Oh. I want to be fruit. This month. In my life, I want to be fruitful. You know, I'm so happy with myself that you honored me and um, considered me handsome enough. <laughs> to, to come out to dinner with me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Pretty and polite. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm not always polite, you know. I can be very, very blunt. And that brings us to why we're here. Why did you bring me here? What can I do for you? Mm. Very, um very deep question. Let me say that ever since I saw you, I, I, I haven't thought of anything other than you being my wife. I mean, I haven't thought of you not I can't think of anything other than you being my wife, marrying me, being the mother of my children. Do you know, I mean, I just, there's this mindset that you and I, there's a connection and we're meant to be together. Really? But come to think of it, with your wealth, you know, how tasteful you are and everything, why would you still be single at this age? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me start all over again. All right? My name is Desmond. Of course I know. Which you already, okay, which you already know. And um, I'm not single. I am married, but that situation is about to change soon because I'll, I'll be getting a divorce soon. You are married? And you think I'll be interested in you? What gives you the audacity to tell me that? Like, you want me to be your wife no, 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 when you... No, 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 no. I'm not seeing you as a woman like that, trust me. But... 
I, I'm, I feel that I am in a marriage where I'm being held captive. Hmm. My wife and I, um, we've been married for 12 years. I'm 47. She's 50. She's 52. I mean, age is nothing but a number, so that's not really the problem. But you see, she's not capable of conceiving. But um, I've been married for 12 years. Numerous IVF to try to conceive. All zero. I, I feel that being with my wife, I'm being held captive to... I mean, the only thing we do is make money year in, year out. I mean, I'm 47. But I, I need someone to call me a dad. I have tried to be with her. I have tried to understand everything. But the time comes when you just know that you have to move on. And um, what makes you think that if you get married to me, I'll give you a child? What if I can't conceive too? Or maybe you're even the prophet. Oh, no, 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 no. Me, the problem. Let me tell you this, right? We have enough money for me to afford any doctor anywhere in the world. Trust and believe that. I have done plethora of tests. I am not just capable of impregnating a woman. I'm sure I can impregnate an entire race of mm. women That's if I try you. it. But that's not really the issue here. The issue is I, I, I have this funny feeling that my, my wife may have been diabolical. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're just, we're just rich. Every year we keep getting richer and richer, but we can't seem to get a child. So many men say that, you know. Anyway, I am not interested. I can never be your wife. I will never be your wife. So, <laughs> I wish you well in your search for a baby mama. But definitely I won't be the one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -mm. <No>. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Um, what did you tell me your name was? I'm Kathy, the CEO of Universal Textiles. My name is Patricia. I'm the CEO of Pat's blog. Call me Pat for short. I've heard so much about you. And the good work you do, and I must tell you, I'm very impressed about how you've been exposing the ills of this evil society. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. You know the story of uh, Go Texas is an eye opener. And that is why I am here to offer you an advert deal of 50,000 US dollars for a start on this platform. Well, that's what we do here at Pass Blog. We expose the ills of the society, and if it comes to advertising for you, we do a great job of exposing your company to the world. By the time we're done with you, your smile will be better than this. I promise you, we are professionals and we do our job. Pat, I must tell you that I know your worth and that is why I'm here. So if this deal is sealed, in fact, by tomorrow, you'll get your check of 50,000 US dollars. Really? Precisely at 10 a.m. Thank you, you so check. much for that. And I must tell you that you would never regret doing business with us. My pleasure. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you so much. Hanty, Hanty, you have to do something about this. I cannot allow that thing called Patricia to mess with your life. This is libel. This is defamation of character. Oh, no, no, no. no. Can you imagine? 
No, no, no. Can you imagine how descriptive the, the article was? <laughs> oh my God. That is so thin wants to destroy my image. <laughs> she wants to destroy my reputation. The reputation I worked so hard to build? No, it's not going to happen. Mm. I'm going to let her know that I am highly connected in this country. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to let her know that my name is Uraola. Yes. Uraola Gold. Mm -hmm. The one that commands wealth <laughs> and wealth obeys. Mm -hmm. Agba. I want her to know. She has to know that in this land, there is no other Uraola. Any other Uraola is a counterfeit. I really need you to teach her a lesson. Let her know, auntie, that whoever touches the tail of a tiger will definitely see the rot of a tiger. Definitely. Oh, please. Definitely. Okay. Stop. You know me too, Okay, well, Let's go. Bread. <laughs> Why being we get to one another? What are you doing here? I thought I told you not to come here anymore. See, I can't concentrate. I can't do anything. It's just the thought of you. All day, all afternoon, all night. I cannot get you out of my head. Okay. See, see. My fiance is him, and he's a very jealous guy. I wouldn't want to hurt him. See, just tell him that I came with a fifty thousand dollars advert for your blood. Come oh, on. No, I, I didn't ask for your money. I don't want your gifts. Now go. Go. This guy will be here now. I don't want no trouble. See. Promise me that you're going to have dinner with me. Okay, I will. I, I will. I'll, I'll call you in the city. Oh! Time. I promise. I promise. I will come back here and he will see me if you do not. Oh, please, please. Don't be like this. I'll see you soon. Okay, okay. Oh, he's the delivery guy. The delivery guy brought this. Delivery guy with such an expensive vehicle. Of course, these guys use such these days. There's no work out there and they have to survive. But... What? What is it? You need to be very careful. Okay. I'm transparent. Okay. You're my heart. And I didn't joke with you. I know. And you know I love you. I love you, man. I love you too. That was very close. Is happening? Where exactly did I get it wrong? Okay, who is behind this? But I don't deserve this from this low life girl. Oh my God, she's all allowed to to, to tarnish my image. Oh. Ah, Swear that. Oh, you mean you are leaving me just like this? Without even saying a word to everything I've been saying. Why are you allowing yourself to get worked up over this? The story is not even true. I mean, come off it. She did not even mention your name. Get off your high house, come on. So until she mentions my name. Hmm. Treat your man like a goat. So she can treat you like a diamond What you need is to get yourself right Respect is reciprocal Women are so beautiful They are the sort of the world Larry! Larry, where are you? Yeah, I'm here. Yes, ma'am. What is happening here? Why oh. is this place not well arranged? Oh, look, I'll look, I was saying. Oh, ego. 
Hello, Remy. Oh, hey, go. I'm sorry. I see on that day I couldn't make it because I had so many customers in my store and I couldn't leave them like that. You know, I needed to attend to them. Oh yes, now. Hey, but I give my friends some money to spray you now. <laughs> yes. I won't ask uh, Tinuka to give you an envelope. Did she give it to you? Uh huh. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Oh yes, I'm in the store. You can start coming. Mm hmm. Yes, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you. I'll be expecting you. Yeah. <sighs> Larry. Larry. Yes, madam. Don't let me be mad at you. I don't like how this place is. Why will I be with this man in the first place? If not for my predicament. Uh, madam, congratulations one more time. Thank you, Doctor. The nurse will administer every other thing necessary for you, okay? So. Congratulations, Madam. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't you have someone to call on? You've been here since yesterday. And nobody has come to see you. Oh, my auntie is coming. She's here with, she'll be here with my food, son. That's fine. I was a bit worried about it. Anyway, you will need someone to cut up for the baby so that you can have your rest. Yeah, let me have the baby. Eh? 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 Congratulations! Eh, eh, thank you, Nancy. What's about mommy, love? Ah, 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 ah. Eh, 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 eh. Thank you so much. The moment I heard that you were put to bed, Mushinto Modeli, I prepared your favorite pepper soup. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pepper soup. Oh. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no, People with wealth are looking for what God has given you just like that. Eh? Oh, <laughs> see, oh. in my excitement, I forgot to bring water, eh? But let, uh, you. Uh, let me quickly run across the road, that shop there, okay. in front of the hospital, and get you water. Yes, thank, Bumbo, you. thank you, Auntie. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. 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 Ura, why are you this adamant on your decision? Because I'm not ready to give or sell my child for any amount. Ura, I don't understand. We, did, we agreed. We, we made the decision together. So why all of a sudden you are just behaving this way? Because you don't understand what it means to nurture and care and carry the baby for nine months. <laughs> why? Ah, uh, Wura. All of a sudden, now you want me to give my child to you to make your wife a mother. I will not give. Because I've got an attachment with my baby. She's my life. She's my home. And I'm not ready to give it to you. If you want this child so much, make the relationship legitimate, not business. Look, we had an agreement, and that is what we're going to stand on. I have nothing to do with you but to take this baby out of this place. I am Chief Felix Okonkwo and nobody messes with me. Look, I have escorts outside. Do you understand? Do you think I can ask them to come in and take over? But I'm not ready for a public scene. You understand me? I am I not am leaving this hospital with my baby. My baby? No, you can't take my baby away from me. No, I would rather that I have you take my baby away from me. No, you can't take my baby. You can't take my baby away. Get up. What is wrong with you? Sorry, I woke you. Don't, 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 don't tell me that. This is getting to be more than a nightmare. What, do you think you're in a movie? Let me tell you this. Until you get it into your skull that you don't have a baby, you will never have a baby. Then maybe you'll let me sleep in peace. 
This bond. Did you just say that to me? Respect is trashy broker. Women are so beautiful. They are the sort of the world. Oh, because two are better than one. This life is like a misery. I know what goes around comes around. Stella, I'm really tired of your brother. It's becoming a pain in the neck. The last time he came, Daffy almost caught us when he came home invited. I don't want to look like somebody who preaches but never follows the dictates of our preaching. Please, I am not interested in your brother. He is a married man. <coughs> Wait, are you trying to say that you're not going to follow up on the date that you guys agreed on? I never said that. I am going to keep my words. But I'm just telling you to tell your brother to back off. Let him back off. You're not saying anything. See, look, I'm going to talk to him. But when you guys have the date that you agreed on, you can also talk to him. But at least you guys have blood. Talk to him. Maybe he will listen. Please. Okay. Thank you. It's not a laughing matter. I'm telling you, it is not a laughing matter. I mean, what is up with this your bad girl? She's so stubborn. Bro, can you just back off now? Ba did, did you say back off? Back off to where? Have you ever been in love before? I mean, if you have been in love before, you know... This is not something that you just say, back off from. I mean, right now, the only thing I think about is that girl. I can't concentrate. I can't do anything. I mean, I have fallen hard for this girl. Don't you get it? I need you to help me, sis. I need you to help me get this girl. Please. This... This is strange. I'm surprised because a player like you can get played. Okay, okay, I'll keep trying. I will try, I'll try to see if she can fall once her distraction gets out of the way. You will not try. You will do everything possible to get me that girl. Everything. And I promise you, once you get that girl for me, I promise you, anything you want, and I mean anything at all, you ask me, I will do it for you. But you must get me that girl. Do you understand me? I've not experienced this kind of dullness in my business in my entire life. And I'm very sure it's because of that stupid write-up. That, um, that girl that lacks home training wrote about me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no problem. <laughs> One thing that is very sure is that I'm going to teach her a lesson of her life. A lesson she would never ever forget in her entire life. <laughs> Nobody messes with her. And you know I am good. Nobody messes with me. 
<laughs> she cannot treat me badly and go scot free. No, it's not possible. <laughs> I'm going to show her that I'm the one and only Wura in this land. <laughs> See, stop getting worked up over this rubbish, my sister. Business is generally dull. And I'm experiencing the same thing. It got nothing to do with anyone's write-up. See, we've made millions of dollars in this country. And we should be grateful. Eh, Wura? And enjoy, as my people will say in Ghanaian language, Uma Yeninji. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it all. Mama Ghana. Yeah. I beg you. I beg you. I know you don't understand, and you won't even understand, so don't let me bother you. Well, you need some cold drink. Yeah. Uh, I know. Um, Larry, get to have some cold drink, I beg. Don't worry about it. Flying is like, you know, you close your eyes and you think you're in the heavens. Mm. And the way they cascade all over you, mm. you'll find yourself enjoying the thrill. Trust me. And that doesn't mean I'm giving you a go eye. I'm not interested. I told oh, you. Oh, oh, just relax and let's have a wonderful day. You're, you're too serious. Come on. Are you up? Yeah. Hello. 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 my friend, Matt. Nice to meet you. Hey, so we're gonna be going up in this beautiful 172 today for you guys. All so right. If you follow me, get you guys. You guys also get the back too. Okay. So who's gonna be my pilot today? Um, I'll probably start off. Right? Yes, okay. I'll probably start off, and then we'll do her the next seat. one. But, ma'am, I'm gonna sit you in the back seat here first. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. Okay. Anyway, and you're gonna get okay. yourself secure in the back seat there. You'll see that there is a lap belt. Okay. Back in the seat just yes. like that. Oh. Exactly uh, the same. Okay. How does that feel? Scary. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> when you're in the air, you won't feel it again. Trust me. <laughs> All right, sir. So go up in that front seat. For okay, right I will. Here. There's a step right. for you if you need it. Okay. Oh, it looks a bit small for me, but you know, I'm sure I can handle it. We'll get you in there. Okay. Wide up a little bit because we okay. need to be able to use our feet down here. So that's All actually right. how you steer an aircraft on the ground. We call it taxiing. Taxiing. Moving an aircraft about the ground. But the way you actually steer is with these pedals down here. That's what steers the nose wheel that's on the front of the aircraft there. And all you have to do is just slide your feet back and forth. So if you want to go left, you're going to slide your foot left here. And if you want to go right, you're okay, going to so slide if I want to go right, I slide right, right. Exactly, yeah. We don't have to worry about these controls up here just okay. yet. Once we get up into the air, that's when we're going to start going okay, about I got this. you. All right, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a checklist because that's what we always do in aviation just to verify that we're not missing anything. Cool. We're getting ready to start up here. So I'm going to do my starting engine checklist. So our seatbelts, harnesses, door, we're all secure. I'm secure here. You're secure on that okay. side. My brakes, I'm gonna test and set. Now, I just talked about the pedals down here. Yeah. They're actually a two-part system. So I can steer with the pedals by sliding my feet, but just like in your car, I can apply brakes by tilting my feet forward. Both Exactly, pedals. both of the pedals here, because okay. I, can, I can control them independently. So the right and the left side, I can control them independently.
about I told you about this block thing. It's dangerous. Now someone is after your life. Someone wants to kill you. So I, I, I don't, I just don't like it. I, I mean, Daphne, I... Daphne, stop. Nobody is after my life. I think the gunshot was just a coincidence. You don't have to worry about that. I am fine. What do you mean? Why, why should it not be at someone else? Why should it be you? You, it's obviously not a mistake. Oh, Daffy. Yeah, why shouldn't it be at someone else? Now, now I'm extremely worried. I can't, I can't go to work like something is going to happen to you. Calm down. Calm down. Nothing is going to happen to me. Trust me. I am fine. I am going to be fine. Stop worrying yourself. It's okay, but... I'm, I'm not going to work today. I'm going to call him. No, soon. no, you can't do that. I told you I will be fine. Trust me. Please. Are you sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. I love you. I don't want to lose you. You can never lose him. I'm not going anywhere. I am here. I love you so much. I love you too. Okay. I'll go to work. Alright. Good. Take care of yourself. See you later then. Alright. Yeah, take care. I'll be fine. I'll be good, okay? Thank you for loving me. Okay. Okay. Have you seen anyone you like? Excuse me. You seen anyone you like there? We like a lot of them. Okay. So Please look around. Be free. <laughs> you like that? Yes, I love it. And it is, it is going to be very nice in um, long dress. Uh huh. Can wait. I know. Yeah. It's, it's for graduation. I know. You just graduated. Congratulations. Finally, the Lord has done it too. Thank mm. God. <laughs> this is also nice. This one. Or oh, this one. I love that. Mm hmm. I can you see know, this I one. Good the, stuff. At the, no, I know. That's, that's why we stuff. came here. Amazing. That's why we came here. Yeah, thank I you. I mean, we've been around, but mm, we leave the best nice for the last. <laughs> there are some bags here, and we still have some there. Okay. okay. Let me leave you to go through some things there. I'm good. Have what? you heard? Heard what? That stupid girl has been shot. Which girl? Patricia, of course. Oh, did she die? No. Well, according to the news, she escaped it. She should have died. She should have died. Uh-huh. Okay, how, how did you come about this? It was all over in the news. Oh, you heard it over the news? Yes, I did. I don't even listen to news anymore because it's always one bad story or the other. But this one is good news, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Auntie. Uh-huh? You know you can confide in me. I know what you are capable of doing. My world of love, world of love, world of love, only in Maryland. Did you do this one? <laughs> Sinoke, are you out of your senses? Ah, what do you mean? How would I have sent someone to go kill her? For what? I didn't do nothing of such. Oh my God, Sinoke, I am Uraola. My name is good. I am never a failure. For the shooter to have failed, that should have told you that I don't have a hand in it. Ooh, yes. That's true, that's true. God, 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 God. Could it be that she has been involved with some other people? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even interested in her in 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 story. I, I'm not even interested. This is beautiful. Oh, yes. It's for my friend's um, daughter. Oh. She's graduating. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry I visited without an invitation. I am happy you stated the obvious. Go straight to the point. What do you want? Pat, I am really sorry. I regretted my action. I don't know what came over me. Please, forgive me. I know you are a woman. 
And you wouldn't want to ruin my marriage. <laughs> Nobody wants to ruin your marriage. You did that to yourself. So don't play on my emotions because I got none. Please forgive me. I don't know what came over me. This will never happen again. I know I have a wonderful husband and two beautiful children that is going to be worried if this news gets to them. Please. <laughs> Madam, I am only going to pull down this picture because you mentioned your daughters. I know what it means not to have a father in one's life. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, Patty. May God bless you. It's better you get to know that God. I will live to say the truth. That stupid asshole made me lose my self esteem. <laughs> she actually made me go on my news for something that does not concern her. Oh, she would definitely pay for this. But thank God, she agrees to pull out the pictures. She's going to pay for this. Definitely. I about what you say. I don't care about what you feel. I don't care about what you say. I live for no one. I care about what I do. Hey, Duffy. Oh. Where's Pat? I thought you guys were together. I called her. She didn't pick. And since we had an agreement to work on it, an article together, I decided to stop by. Oh. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's OK. OK. Hey. Stella, are you crazy or drunk? I'm okay. I'm neither drunk nor crazy. But do you want to tell me that you don't know I'm into you? I love you, but you never give me any attention. Stella! I really think you should take your leave now. Please go. Leave. You will be the loser. Do you know where Pat is at the moment? She's with a rich lover man. The man spoils her silly. <laughs> oh, so you think she will leave that rich lover man for you? Oh, Stella. So you could be this desperate, right? Please leave. Wait, you As a, take your leave now. Leave! Don't worry. Oh, you think I'm lying? Trust me, I always have evidence. Did you see? Your dear Pat. Oh my God! Pat! Pat has been cheating on me. Oh my God! Who is it? Who is this idiot? I'm going to kill her. I'm, I'm going to kill this man. Who, who is this? Is this idiot throwing money all around to win her? Who is that? Who is this fool? Why are you bothering about this man? Huh. What bother about the man? Pat is the one throwing herself all over him. She decided to go willingly. That's it. Am I not beautiful? I'm ready to be with you. If you play smart, I can give you whatever you're trying to give to Pat and Pat is not appreciating it. Oh my god, so... Pat thinks he can mess with me? I'm gonna mess her up, I, s I swear. I'm gonna mess her up big time. And I mean it. Don't bother about Pat. Worry less about Pat. Worry more about me. I'm ready to be with you. I'm ready to love you. I'm ready to appreciate your love that 
part decide to just shove away aside because of one rich man? Come on, baby. Hmm? I love you. Hmm? Why did you deposit that money into my account? I thought I told you not to do that, right? I am not interested in your money. Why did you deposit it? You think you can buy me with money, right? I am not interested in your money. I don't want anything to do with your wealth. I can never be your wife. I told you this, and I'm repeating it again. I do not want anything to do with you. I don't want that money. I don't want it. And I really don't like what you did. I sincerely hope you're going to like this one. Hey. Now. How did you find yourself in this kind of a predicament? I don't know what you... Sit down. Oh. Hey. Hey. Who did you offend? Nobody. Sure nobody? Now I'm gonna let you know who you offended. Now get up! Move this way! Hey! Yeah. This life is like a misery. I know what goes around.
I mean, I was just on the phone with her right now, so she went on the phone. I mean, what could have happened? Anyway. I just hope she's safe anyway. on God. Huh? You in great. You devil incarnate. You decided to destroy my reputation. The reputation I worked so hard for. Because you are sleeping with my husband. Is that not? Please. I'm not sleeping with your husband. Neither am I dating this boy. <laughs> How dare you mention my husband by his name? Oh no. Oh. Look at me. My name is Uraola. I am gold, and no one, no one ever messes with me. Ah, I am sorry. I never meant it like this, so I'm so sorry. Ah, he said he wanted to marry me. Now you couldn't conceive. And you had used your womb for money rituals. Stella wanted us to write a story so that we could see your reaction. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Oh, I will never cross your path. Hey. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Hmm. I'm not a bad person. It's just that I've learned to deal with my enemies before they destroy me. It's just a survival tactic, you know. Now, I'm giving you one opportunity to say your last prayers and say goodbye to your mom because I know your mom is precious to you. Oh my God, my destiny is in your hands. So just do it and care, Miss Blogger. Now, be fast with it before I change my mind. Okay, okay. My mother's number. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, plus two, three, four. Two, three, four. Nine zero four four four. Oh. Excuse me. Are you all right? Get the right numbers, my friend. That's the correct number. My mother's number. Hey. Ah, she said, Lola, Your mom's name? Yes. Who's your dad? Oh, my dad. I never met him. I was told he passed on the day I was born. What's his name? Mr. Chief Felix Okonkwo of, of Blessed Memory. Okay. Oh, oh, mommy. Ah. 
Egba mi. What is this? I'm on your own, la. Kill her, kill her, kill her. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, damn, I feel like I'm on my own. Show to me, la, ye. Or don't you know that Abike Oluata Milore Patricia Okonko is your biological daughter? adamant on your decision because i'm not ready to give or sell my child for any amount well i don't understand we, did, we agreed we we made the decision together so why all of a sudden you are just behaving this way because you don't understand what it means to nurture and care and carry the baby for nine months <laughs> why uh we're uh, all of a sudden now you want me to give my child to you to make your wife a mother I will not give because I've got an attachment with my baby. She's my life. She's my hope. And I'm not ready to give it to you. If you want this child so much, make the relationship legitimate, not business. Look, we had an agreement and that is what we're going to stand on. I have nothing to do with you but to take this baby out of this place. I am Chief Felix Okonkwa and nobody messes with me. Look, I have escorts outside. Do you understand? Do you think I can ask them to come in and take over? But I'm not ready for a public scene. You understand me? I am I not am giving you my up child. To speak to with my baby. I am not giving you my child. No. I said I am leaving. I her. will not give you my child. If she is mine. That baby is mine. I, I will get not. That baby. I will not. I son, I ah. ruin the ends of ah. God. Ah. So I choose ah. rain. Ah. Children are the heritage from the Lord. I wanna be fruitful in my life. I wanna be fruitful. So you see, I left the hospital with the baby. Why you left the shores of this country? With that same visa that Felix had procured for you, while you were signing an agreement to give up your child as soon as she was born. Uh -uh. Eh? You kept calling. You kept calling. I kept lying to you that I did not take the child from the hospital because I didn't want to be caught. I, I had always wanted children i love children i married three times i got married no child so i nurtured the baby and named her oluwa tami lore oluwa tami lore mureni keji abike i nurtured her with love I guess this is the way God wanted to compensate me. I took her, I left for Kaduna. Because I didn't want my secret to come out. When the autopsy result of uh, Chifeli Sokonko came out, it was discovered that he died of a heart attack. But I couldn't tell you that. I couldn't tell you because I didn't want you to come back for your baby. How would that be my game? Eh? So, Ura, I beg of you. Don't harm that girl. She's your child. Eh, over pa, the lady of my over pa. Just be on your nails. Just be on your nails. Guys, something just came up. 
And um, as it is, I won't need your service no more. Please. Ah. What? We don't go back on deals. Yes, I know, but I'm going to pay you double. Double? Uh huh. Sure, double? Sure. Don't play games. No, no, no. Not at all. Stop putting Mommy. grief and fear in breaks. Mommy, I'm very sorry. Why being dead to one another? You live like the devil sitting, but you are a withdrawal. People don't want people to be. Sela sent me. Like I said, Sela sent me. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. 